Uh, I think Magna is, I like to call it a $40 billion startup with a 60 year history. Uh, and we are really getting started because we are in an industry that is really high tech and complex and has an addressable market of three trillion and going, uh, going forward still. Canadian electric car parts manufacturer Magna has recently unveiled a new high RPM electric motor, which they claim is a secret weapon. This new motor promises a lightweight package with double the power and significantly better efficiency compared to most other motors currently in use. About Magna. Magna is one of the most important and largest vehicle parts manufacturers in the world, consistently ranked as one of the biggest companies in Canada. They provide parts and facilities to many automotive companies around the world, including Mercedes-Benz, BMW and Ford, who have been sourcing parts from Magna for decades. With the EV revolution, Magna has heavily invested in making crucial components for electric vehicles, allowing them to become one of the most prominent EV parts manufacturers and fully transition to this new market. Magna is now one of the automotive giants when it comes to electrical components in vehicles, with many famous manufacturers relying on them for various electric peripherals, such as mirror controls and seating electronics. Ford are dependent on Magna for their EV components, and Mercedes EVs use entire powertrains developed by Magna. The most interesting fact about Magna is that Jaguar has put them fully in control over two of their vehicles, the F-Pace and the I-Pace, highlighting the incredible size and importance of this seemingly unknown company. One of Magna's greatest achievements is their well-known powertrain, the Magna E-Drive. The Magna E-Drive has been a game-changer for the world of EVs, promising a massive step forward in terms of power, efficiency, and ease of manufacturing. The key reason why companies like Stellantis, Tata, Mercedes, and many others are turning to Magna to produce their EVs is the fact that the E-Drive is one of the easiest EV systems to install in a vehicle, be it an EV or a hybrid. For example, the Jaguar I-Pace uses two complete E-Drive systems, as well as power electronics and integrated drive units, meaning the entire platform is built from the ground up using only Magnus parts. This is also true for the new Fisker Ocean, which uses Magnus powertrain entirely. Other vehicles are built from the ground up, but they partially use the E-Drive system, showing how easily it can be integrated with vehicles that aren't designed for it specifically. The BMW i3, on the other hand, uses the E-Drive system, albeit the platform itself is adapted from the regular X3, demonstrating that the E-Drive is a powertrain that can be used without any restraints. However, Magna's previous electric motor while regarded as one of the better ones on the market, was ultimately unimpressive with a 400 volt system, 91% efficiency, a 2 kW slash power density, and a 16,000 RPM limit. This is why the I-Pace, with its two E-Drive units, totaling 400 horsepower, was not considered the best or worst EV, just well in the middle and had a relatively mediocre range of 280 miles due to subpar battery management. To address these shortcomings, Magna has decided to completely overhaul the pre-existing motor and make it far more competitive than before, starting with the RPM limit, which has been substantially increased. The new Magna electric motor has increased the RPM limit to a whopping 20,000 RPM allowing it to have a 3.3 kilowatts per ratio, making it almost 70% more potent than the previous generation. The motor weighs just 75 kilograms, resulting in an output of almost 250 kilowatts, which translates to 335 horsepower. The voltage of the new E-Drive has been doubled to 800 volts, meaning the charging speed 
will be practically twice as fast compared to the previous generation, as you can charge a vehicle using up to 350 kilowatts per hour. The reduced weight of the motor is a result of the change in voltage, and the motor will also be more compact. Additionally, the new E-Drive motor has an efficiency rating of 93%, which is astonishing and a big milestone towards the 100% efficiency that everybody is striving for. This means that only 7% of all electrical energy isn't being converted and is lost, translating into a bit more power and a bit more range from a vehicle outfitted with a more efficient motor. Modern internal combustion engines have three times less efficiency on average. Furthermore, these motors will heat up much slower than a 400 volt motor, meaning they will be far more durable and have a higher projected lifespan. However, one must ask what the real life benefits of this are, as nobody cares about power anymore as EVs are already as powerful as they are, and bringing more power into the equation means very little to us. The real benefit we'll see from the introduction of this new motor is improved range. The increased efficiency of the motor will bring around 3 to 5% more range, which is a definitive improvement. Additionally, the lighter weight of the motor will mean the vehicle has to work a little less, marginally increasing the power to weight ratio, which will also marginally increase the range. The fact that the motor will heat up much less frequently also means the cooling systems will work less, further extending the range. Combining all these factors, you will get around 10% more miles on a full charge, which is a very good improvement, considering this is just a hypothetical motor change and not the entire powertrain. Recharging the vehicle will also be a massive step forward, as it will now take practically half the time to recharge a vehicle with the same batteries as before. Additionally, the more compact size of the motor will increase the interior space and cargo area. However, there are some downsides to using this new e-drive system, but they are more financially problematic than practical. 800V powertrains similar to the new E-Drive have already been used by other manufacturers like Porsche, GMC and Tesla, and these big 800V architectures tend to be far more expensive to manufacture. This is because the electronics, such as inverters, converters and onboard chargers, need to handle considerably higher voltages, resulting in a more expensive product. Additionally, the battery packs required for these higher voltage systems are also more expensive as they need more robust insulation, wiring and various new safety measures. In some cases, the batteries may even become larger to extend the range of these vehicles, further increasing the price. Most manufacturers tend to use the 800 VE drive system in their higher end models as it will be noticeably more expensive than the 400 VE drive. This is a fairly common practice amongst EV makers. There is also the issue of recharging the vehicle. While the 800 V system can be recharged much faster, this benefit can only be realized if the charger supports it. Since 90% of EV models and an even greater percentage of EVs on the road utilize the 400V architecture. Most chargers have been tailored for them. As a result, you'll hardly see the full benefits of the faster charging, if ever. Additionally, Magna will have to convert some of their assemblies from the 400V E-Drive to the 800V version, which will ultimately lower the profit somewhat, as the volume will be used on a somewhat smaller scale. However, these issues are a regular occurrence for developing technologies. In the early 2010s, you could barely charge your EV anywhere, and nowadays there's a charger at every corner. This isn't an all-new technology, just an evolution of an already existing one. So building a new infrastructure from the ground up isn't necessary, just modernizing the existing one. As the complexity of manufacturing the 800V system lowers 
and the scale of production increases. The use of materials such as silicon carbide and gallium nitrite will also increase. With more and more vehicles using 800V systems, this technology will become more widespread and mass used. As a result, the price will keep dropping continuously and soon enough, most EVs will come with such a powertrain with the 400V E-Drive being reserved for the most affordable models. In conclusion, Magna's new 800V electric motor represents a significant step forward in EV powertrain technology. The substantial improvements in power density, efficiency, and charging speed have the potential to provide tangible real-world benefits for EV owners, including increased range, quicker recharge times, and more interior space. However, the implementation of this advanced 800V system is not without its challenges. The higher costs associated with the specialized electronics and battery packs required for the 800V architecture mean that this technology will likely be reserved for premium-priced EV models in the short term. This could limit its near-term adoption across the broader EV market. Additionally, the existing charging infrastructure is predominantly designed around the more common 400V EV systems. So 800V EV owners may not always be able to fully utilize the faster charging capabilities unless they have access to specialized high-power chargers. Despite these hurdles, the long-term outlook for 800V EV powertrains appears promising. As manufacturing processes mature and economies of scale are achieved, the cost premium is expected to diminish, allowing this technology to become more widely adopted across the EV market. The increased use of advanced materials and components will also help drive further efficiency and reliability improvements. Ultimately, Magna's new 800V electric motor represents an important technological milestone that has the potential to drive the EV industry forward, provided the associated challenges can be addressed through continued innovation and infrastructure development. As the EV market continues to evolve, solutions like this will be crucial in addressing consumer concerns and accelerating the transition to a more sustainable transportation future.